So when it comes to dividing decimals, there's several ways that you can do this, and I'm going to show you two of my favorite ways. So one of the ways that I solve when I'm dividing by decimals is I like to move my decimal until I have whole numbers. Now there's a couple rules to that, so we're going to go through and do a couple examples. So I'm allowed to move my decimal as long as I move it the same number of times for both of my numbers. So I'm going to start by moving my decimal one time over to get me a whole number of 2. And in order to be allowed to do that, I have to move the other decimal one over as well. And I get 0 0.5. Now I still don't have whole numbers. I could figure this one out easily, but I'm going to continue on. So I'm going to move one more time to the right, which means I have to move this decimal one time over. And that's going to get me 20 divided by 5. And now I recognize that easy division problem is 20 divided by 5 gets me 4. Now another way that you could have done this, which some people like to do, although it, I think it takes a lot more time, would be to convert these decimals to fractions and then do keep change flip. So if I were to do it that way, 0.2 is 2 tenths, and 0 0.05 is a 5 ending in the hundredths place. If I went through and did keep change flip, I would get 2 tenths multiplied by 100 over 5. 2 times 100 is 200. 10 times 5 is 50. And 200 divided by 50 is 4. Now this one works out nicely. Some of them it might be a little trickier to get it back to a decimal format. But those are two ways to solve this. For the next example, again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start by moving my decimal until I have a whole number of 16. I've moved it twice, so I have to move the other one two times as well. And I get 16 divided by 0 0.02, or sorry, 0 0.2. And then I'm going to move it one more time to get the whole number of 2, so I have to do the same over here. And I get 160 divided by 2, which gets me 80. Next one, I'm going to move 2 times over to get 5. I have to move it 2 times over here as well, and it gets me 2. Now, if you didn't know how to do 5 divided by 2, I could also solve this using long division. So 5 divided by 2. So 2 goes into 5 2 times. What is 2 times 2? It's 4. Subtracting it off, and I get 1. Now I'm going to input my decimal. Put a couple zeros here. Drop my 0 in. 2 goes into 10 5 times. What is 2 times 5? It's 10. And when I subtract, I get 0, so I stop there. My answer is 2.5. For the next one, I'm moving it 2 times to get me a 5, which means I move it 2 over here to get me 0.2. I'm going to move it one more time on each end here to get me 50 divided by 2. So my answer is 25. This one, I'm going to move it over once to get me 5, which means I have to move it once here, which gets me 20. Again, let's go ahead and do um, long division, or you could rewrite 5 over 20 is 5 over 20 division this way. Um, I can multiply this by 5 to get me a denominator of 100. And 25 over 100, we know, is 0.25, or 25 ending in the hundredths place. Um, if you need help with that, look back at the videos on how to do um, fraction to decimal conversions. If you prefer the route of doing long division, 5 divided by 20. 20 does not go into 5, so I put a 0 in my decimal. So we said 20 doesn't go into 5, but 20 goes into 50 two times, which is 40. I'm subtracting that off, and I end up with 10, drop in a 0. 20 goes into 100 five times, which is 100. Subtract it off, and I'm done. So my answer is, as we said, 0.25. Now you'll notice that I use the same digits for a lot of these problems to just show you the different um, ways of doing this if your decimal is in a different place.